Hi guys, today we're gonna do a small uh, demo of the latest uh, hardware and software for Blue Retro, the universal uh, multiplayer Bluetooth controller adapter for retro video games. So the board is built in a uh, Raspberry Pi 4 uh, form, form factor, so it's easy to use a standard case like this. And the result is really nice. So it's a very professional look. So Blue Retro uh, has uh, three main uh, unique features. So the first one it is that it's uh, highly uh, configurable. So to do that uh, we have uh, a web Bluetooth interface. Just connect to the address uh, blueretro.io and then we have the two main uh, configuration interface. The, face, the first one is the advanced config and then you have the preset config. So let's start with advanced config. So we just go on the page, connect Blue Retro, select the adapter, pair to it. So then we have the output config. There you can select uh, what Blue Retro is going to emulate. Also we have the mapping. Uh, so that's the big part of the config actually. So that's a bit complex. So it allows you to do pretty much anything you want. So you can map a button to another button, an axe on a button, a button on the axe. You can change the, the scaling of the axis. Uh, so you have a, a lot of flexibility here, but it's a bit complex. You have the second interface, which is Blue Retro Preset Config. You have a list of games that you can select a, a config from, and you just save it, and it's going to configure Blue Retro with that preset. Another key part of Blue Retro is the, that it's universal. So with only one adapter, you can uh, use it on any console. So right now I have set up uh, three systems. We obviously have the Sega Saturn Air. In the cable here, actually, there's a, a level shifter to make the transition between the 5 volt and the 3.3 volt that the Blue Retro uh, interface required. So right now the Sega Saturn is set up for the first port to be a controller and the second port is a mid step with six uh, controller. So now we can just demo. Uh, all the controllers supported. So obviously you have the PS4 controller to support uh, the Xbox One controller, the Switch Pro controller, and also the Joy-Con is supported. The Wii U Pro controller that is supported. Wii controller. PS3 controller is supported also. We also have the support for the adaptive controller. Bluetooth support a maximum of uh, seven uh, connection. So you can see it works as expected. And I guess the adapter support uh, generic id keyboard and uh, also mouse. So we're just gonna disconnect one controller, connect a big keyboard on it. And as you can see here. Even if it's use a keyboard, but it's still uh, emulating a, a gamepad. So we can move on to the next system. So one of the key features also of Blue Retro is that uh, auto detect the system. So without changing any config or any pin, just plug and play. You can see that. And then we can do the demo for the GVS interface. So this one, the GVS interface do not provide power. We need to put the small jumper. Right. So it's going to connect to the board. Let's connect the controller first. And we go in test mode. And then we can see the GVS status. Right. So you can see that this game uh, only support uh, six bit, and also we have the coin slot that's working, keeping count of the coin working, keeping count of the coin, and the same for player two. Check out the description if you want to participate in the open beta of Blue Retro. Just fill up the form. Thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day.